the most a uh, drug addict addicted city in america bro tommy tommy gb what is your first hit of meth deal like superman now we are seeing students as young as first grade who have had drug issues what percent of guys that are slaying you think waste at first grade bros watching kirby and mega man hold on what what do you say percent of guys that are slaying you think waste of In Nebraska? What the fuck going on in Nebraska? Online, it says that Omaha is the, the most drug addicted city in America. Does that surprise you? No. United States of America. No, I, bro, Nebraska? Is facing a massive drug crisis in 2021. I don't think it's just the US, bro. I think it's the world, to be honest with you. And then people are like, oh, well, the war on drugs. Most pointless fucking war ever. Over 106,000 people died from drug overdoses. This is up 14% from 2020. The main culprit in this story is fentanyl. Next to the fentanyl. That shit's crazy in Florida too, chat. Y'all gotta be careful, bro. No crisis. I mean, just don't do drugs, to be honest with you. In havoc in communities. Even y'all motherfuckers that smoke. Y'all gotta, gotta be careful. They be lacing everything with that Across shit. the country, overdoses, drug seizures, and concerns continue to grow from coast to coast. The victim can be seen buying the fentanyl and then walking over to the front door of the gas station before collapsing. A snapshot of America's fentanyl crisis. An average of one person every... Why them boys bent over like that? Like, is that what fentanyl makes you do? What? Is that what it? What? Every 10 hours dies in this city of a fentanyl overdose. A lot more people are dying and it's in a lot of the drug supply and people are doing it without knowing they're doing it. Fentanyl was created in 1959 by Dr. Paul Jansen to be a more efficient alternative to morphine and it's used in hospitals to help with surgeries and pain management due to its potency and how cheap it is to produce drug dealers cut their products with fat yo vincey poo thank you so much baby for the radar appreciate baby cakes to stretch it and make it stronger. The journey of fentanyl to the United States is as follows. Much of it is created in China and India, and it's sold to Mexican criminal organizations like the Sinaloa cartel. It's then smuggled across the border, and it's been flooding the American streets. Today, we visit the most drug-addicted city in America, Omaha, Nebraska. Top of the nation. No, bro, I mean, bro, I ain't nothing to do in Nebraska, bro. I could, bro, I see why, bro, y'all need, listen, I'm not, I don't think it's y'all, but bro i could no bro ain't nothing to do in a bright you see this is why they got open up theme parks if they open up more theme parks I, hopefully that helps the the drug addiction cocaine marijuana and heroin we speak with addicts hi amanda recovery drug dealers and law that's a shorty and heroin we speak with addicts people in recovery drug dealers that's a shorty i mean if it's not a shorty it's got pretty jay got pretty eyes in law enforcement let's hit the streets Now nah, imagine being in a theme park and high shit gonna go through, the, I, bro. I don't know what that feels like, bro. So I'm not gonna do that. First, we stop at University. Of I'm straight, bro. I'm straight. Imagine, imagine surviving ten years and then, like, in the military and then you just die from fentanyl. Just to, bro, I'll be pissed as fuck. Omaha. I'll be mad. I'll just be mad as fuck dead. Speak with Coalition RX, a nonprofit dedicated to reducing drug use. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Big pharma on the streets, and we're seeing a lot of drugs, mainly fentanyl. And the bad thing about like, why is people even you? Bro, can it like the can it like chat? Isn't like the smallest piece of fentanyl can like fuck you up? Am I tripping? I'm not tripping, right? That's like is it? It's like the smallest amount can can like completely fuck you up. Fentanyl is just little grams to kill you. You look at a drug dealer like a business operation. What's in it for them to lace things with fentanyl? It's cheap. And it gives you a good kick of high. It's one of Bro, why she said it like that? She's like, it's like she promoting that. I know she's not, it's but like. cheap. And it gives you a good kick of high. It's one of the most dangerous. I'm not going to lie, chat. I feel like the more people talk about shit, the more it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know it's awareness, but like when you say it like that, 
it gives you one hell of a, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to watch that and be like, oh, shit, I'm trying, you know? I feel like they got to be able to, like, 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 say it a way to where it's not appealing, bro. We've ever seen. How is fentanyl getting into this country? Does anyone know the source, where it comes from, how it gets here? The drugs are being manufactured in China, and they're being sold to the group. What's up, like Peace Saying, baby? Long time, baby. Hope you bless. Trafficking it across the border. Federal agents found 300,000 fentanyl pills and 11 pounds of fentanyl powder. Authorities say the SUV has crossed the U.S.-Mexico border multiple times. Now we are seeing students as young oh, as okay, Punky, I see that. Grade no. who have had drug issues. Oh, Big Pharma, in my mind, they are the people that needed to be held accountable. They you better chill out, shorty. You, you, hey, don't talk about, hey, your Big Pharma don't play no games, bruh. I noticed, I noticed I ain't saying shit. Big Pharma don't play no games. You better watch your motherfucking mouth. They'll shut that whole shit down. I've been getting off scot-free, if you ask me. You better My chill out, bro. passed away when he was 18 from an accidental oxycodone overdose right here on this campus, actually. He had just finished his freshman year on a full academic scholarship here. And from what I can tell, he was experimenting with drugs, I believe. Thank you so much, Peace. I appreciate you, baby. He was under with grades and different things. And he went to sleep one night after getting some oxycodone from another student. And he didn't wake up that morning. If we meet a, a drug dealer today that bolsters his business with fentanyl, what would be your message to that drug dealer? What would you like to say to him? Well, I want them to think about their own child or their niece or nephew or the kid. Bro, it's such a fucked up, bro. It's like, bro, it's such a fucked up type of situation that a lot of people are in. I feel like there's no such thing as bad choices. It's either good choices or shit choices, chat. I'm going to be 100% with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's no bad. It's either good or shit choices. There's no such thing as a bad choice. Next door, would, would they want that kid's life to end because of what they're doing to make a buck they're killing people's kids addiction is giving up everything like that us but recovery is giving up one thing for everything how many people in this room has either had a family member or know of someone that has overdosed in their circle <laughs> yeah since there's fentanyl and all that's my things. best friend to that dumb <laughs> shit not fentanyl off. though so what you do is you put it into your nasal cavity. I don't have the test. I and put then this up their nose. You put this part, and that then part. you just push down, and it will spray. Corporal Crane was equipped with a nasal spray Narcan, a prescription medicine that rapidly reverses the effects of an overdose. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Wait. Take care. Yeah. Wait, how, can you just, can you buy those, chat? Corporal Crane was equipped with a nasal spray Narcan, a prescription. Nar can you just buy those, like keep them on deck? Okay. I'm I'm buying a, oh yeah, yeah I'm I'm buying like two like four of them motherfuckers. How much them bitches cost? How much them shit cost? Hold on. Can I just get the goddamn order? How much does it cost? You gotta sign in. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, you know, just keep a couple. Rapidly reverses the effects of an overdose. Thanks, you guys. Take care. Next, we had to speak to a former drug dealer that can give us insights on how narcotics are moving through this area. So we're heading to a trap house in Omaha. Talk to a dealer. Is there really trap houses in Omaha though? Cause like it's so like wide open and open fields, like you can easily see the trap house. Right there, head. Tell me about the drugs. It's like a trap. Trap. It's, it's like a trap field. I mean, when you hit us up saying that there's an epidemic level, I honestly thought to myself, I was like, well, shit, the drugs have always really been here. One of the big things right now is meth, blood overdoses. Does that make you nervous being in the game? This made me a little nervous, not gonna lie, but nobody really knows, understands what they're doing nowadays, you know what I mean? What do you view as the impact of fentanyl coming into the game? It's honestly a travesty because it just kills people. It's what percent of guys that are slaying you think lace their shit? I just assume everybody, because at the end of the day, when they get it, they themselves sometimes don't know if it's been stepped on or cut or anything, you know what I mean? Tell me about the, the journey of how drugs get to America. 
And how Omaha is a central point of that. The way I understand it is, is just because we're on I-80, Interstate 80, everything got to come and go through here at some point in time. That's why, like, Nebraska, they call it the gauntlet, because we make so many drug busts on the interstate. Have you ever felt bad for a customer? At the end of the day, people are grown, it's their own responsibility to, to handle this shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to do the drugs, and I put the drugs to you, whatever it is you're doing. What made you decide to get into the game? I did it out of necessity, like out of survival, because I, I, I lost my job. A lot of different things were going on. I got in trouble with the law, and I was just trying to figure myself out. And what kind of things went down in this house that we're, we're at? This place, man, everything used to go down here. Literally everything. Mess, home. This is like a nice ass neighborhood. Pack, weed, everything. Like, I got out in 2019. So I went away before it ever even got raided. What was your childhood like? It was pretty regular. Yeah. Do your parents know what you've been up to? Do they know everything? No, but my mom, I love my mom, so she. No does it surprise you to hear that Omaha is the most drug addicted city in the country? It kind of does. Big Pharma, what role do you think they play in this whole game? Bro, I feel like we live in a world of cyberpunk, dead ass chat. If you came face to face with a, a mother of someone that had died from drug overdose, what would you say to her? Sorry for your loss. I mean, the person makes their own choice at the end of the day. Nobody forced them to do that. I feel sorry for them. Is there like a code on the streets like most dealers won't deal to kids? Or do you know of any guys that'll sell to a fifth grade or a sixth grade? I think if anybody got the money, anybody will sell that. I'm going to be honest with you. If you could retire from this profession, what would you get into? Like, in a way of like... You, you ever notice like every video game is like, oh, the government does this. Oh, this company's doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we live in it. We live in a world, bro, like, if you look at, like, L.A. Skids Road Chat, that shit is disgusting, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like it's just, bro, we live in a fucked up world, bro. Like, it's so fucked. I, not gonna lie, I can see the dealer's point at the end of the day, you make your own trade. Yeah, you do, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, except for the, except for the motherfuckers that get, that, that get the shit, that's the lace. You know what I'm saying? Like, like lace is like they don't know. They'll think they're getting like regular marijuana, and then that's just lace with fentanyl. Like that would, you know, like it's all. That's what I'm saying. It's all money, bro. Like people don't give a fuck about like who lose their life type shit. Like it's just, it's just all money. The reason they lace it, Tagash, is because the higher your customers get the more they'll come back and the more they'll spray like, yo, this motherfucker got some insane shit that had me floating. Like, that's what they do. That's why they lace it. But sometimes they fuck up and fuck it up and then that's when somebody dies. But you know what's crazy? When somebody dies, they make more money. The dealer makes more money because they're like, oh shit, oh, oh, um, uh, AB, what's the name? Overdose on his shit? Oh yeah, we gotta go to him. That means his shit is crazy. That, it's, it's so sick. Next, we head to a part of Omaha where drug addicts and homeless people are. Yeah, living. people want the high. Like, if if a drug dealer sells something that had somebody overdose, that drug dealer's customers will go through the roof. Being intense on the street to get their story and hear what their life is like. Omaha is known as the most drug addicted city in America. It is. I'm with the outreach program. I'm a psychologist. Fentanyl is the worst thing in the world. They used it when they put you under to do surgery. They quit using it. Well, then it disappeared off the docks. It went to Mexico. It comes back to the United States. They stomp on it. What stomping means, they mix it with other things. Young cats like you get it. What can you tell us about life here? Difficult, hot, resources are slim. Do you survive out here all day? Yeah, I'm here 24 seven. What gets someone to a point that they're willing to be outside a tent and not it's the other way around yeah like and when, when i was in seattle bro like i knew motherfuckers i was doing like i was pushing all types of shit and i was like if somebody something happened like the motherfuckers they, bro you could you can tell them boy, they, they buying bottles you know what i'm saying they bring hey, bro you know because customers going through the roof it's just like it's fucked bro it's better to be out here than it is to be in an abusive situation and guess what it could happen to you two guys too What's the drug that's running through Omaha right now? Meth, crack, there's some cocaine and weed. It pretty much anything you want to find is pretty much you can find it right here. I got out of the situation that I was in and ran out of funds, what the so fuck? I got stuck here until I can get enough funds up to be able to get into a place. People are bad. They've had a bad situation. But sometimes the system doesn't allow that. 
What could the system change or what could be better about the system? Other psychologists, psychiatrists, outreach programs, hospitals where they can take their medication, et cetera, et cetera. They can live a normal life. This is kind of the skid row of Omaha, I would say. Hell yeah, this is the bomb. I can't get my fucking ID. They fucking with me. They keep talking about they care about the people that's homeless. They don't want you to put your tennis up nowhere. Why the fuck we can't put our dents up nowhere and y'all not trying I think he high right now to be honest with you. I had suspicions about I think he high right so now. I called the Sienna Francis house to see if he worked there. They said he was not a psychiatrist on staff. He was a patient. Today we meet John, a former addict helping other people on the path to recovery outside the Sienna Francis house which is a place leading the charge in helping the homeless, but also one of the highly concentrated areas of drug addicts in the city. It's a sketchy place that plays a central role in this story. The most drug addicted city in America is arguably Omaha, Nebraska. Does that surprise you to hear? That's the first time I've heard that. I know it's uh, bad here, the fentanyl epidemic, the opioid crisis. I know That's just crazy, bro. Use. I just get so, sad yeah, listening to like, listen shit like that. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chuck. Uh, counseling agency, Halo Counseling Center. I've been doing that for about the last eight years, started that in 2015 so we do a lot of work with like the criminal justice system most of our referrals come from probations drug courts veterans courts things like that it's insane i mean our business just continues to grow i started off with just me myself and i and now we're up to eight counselors five offices and we still can't keep up what got you into this so I got my own history in 2006. I was out on the streets smoking meth. I was involved in a raid September 11, 2006. God and damn, 2006. Christ. 